All right, guys, this is my Apicool C20 portable fridge. A week ago, I did a complete review, and I did an experiment in which the unit was at ambient temperature. The water and pop, nine of each, was also at ambient temperature. I wanted to kind of look at what would happen if the fridge had not been on, everything's at ambient, put it all in the fridge, turn it on, and get it to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. How long would it take? Well, I'll put a link to that video. You can see how long it took. So then yesterday it was going to be real hot again. And I was in my garage like I am today. The first time I was outside. Just take a look at the video. And then <coughs> what I tried to do is get the fridge to 40 degrees first. Then put the ambient temperature pop nine of each and, and, and water in the fridge and see what would happen well it was kind of futile so I decided not to even post that so today we're gonna try something different today what I'm gonna do I've got a different thought because in the real world you may be getting water and pop that isn't uh, that's at ambient temperature hasn't been cooled and so you're going to put something warm into maybe a cooled, uh, your, this fridge, which would be cooled. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to get this down to about 10 degrees. Actually, you know what I might do? Yeah, I'm going to get it down to about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I will put the ambient temperature, uh, pop and water, into the fridge. And obviously, the warmth is, you, you, once you open this, you're going to get some escape of cold. Plus, you're going to lose as the heat from the ambient temperature water and pop start to draw and, and, and then uh, pull away from the cold. So, my thought is, get it colder than what you want. Let's see how long it takes to get to 10 degrees. Put the pop in there. That should be more than enough, that 10 degrees Fahrenheit should be more than enough to when you put the warmer pop in there it will not bring it below it, will, it won't rise and take her in a horrendously long time uh, to get it and to keep it cold uh, the fridge so that the fridge loses so much temperature that it rises so much that it just can't it takes so long that it wouldn't be worth now in my garage you can see it's about 80 degrees. I don't know how accurate these are, but it's showing 80 degrees. It's supposed to get very hot. We're approaching noon now, and it's supposed to be getting very hot today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. And it just started. It's showing 79 degrees Fahrenheit ambient temperature which would be the inside of this and we're gonna set this right now it's at 40 we're gonna set this to 10 turn on the timer we're gonna see as a double check 10 degrees Fahrenheit and then we've got this uh, the other settings are the same as in my first um, video that I did, the review. The only thing we're changing now is that this is going to be inside my garage. I'm going to get this down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll open this up. We'll put the ambient temperature water and pop in. Close the lid. See how much this rises to the point where will it go above 40. Because my thought is... I want it to maintain 40 so what I'm gonna do once we get down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit I'm gonna put the stuff in the pop then I'm gonna reset this to 40 degrees Fahrenheit because that's what I want the pop to maintain at alright guys we're approaching 15 minutes and we're at 70 degrees so we started out at 79 so this is working much quicker than having anything in it, obviously, because <coughs> you've got more mass that you've got to cool down. Here you've just got an empty space, a small space, 
you have nothing else that has to, the water in the pop that you've got to cool the contents. Well guys, we've got a nice quick cool down here with an empty uh, fridge. Coming up on 30 minutes, it just changed. You just saw it change to 40 degrees. Where normally, <clears throat> when I tried it yesterday, I stopped it here. But like I said, we're going to go down another, <coughs> excuse me, 30 degrees. So, we'll see how long it takes to get 30 degrees cooler down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And yes, it is very warm in this garage. So, um, this should be a better test. Because, again, I feel that you're going to get food that's pop water that you may buy somewhere that's not cold. Now you're going to put it in a fridge that's 40 degrees. It's going to up. So, in any event, let's see how this works. Well, here you have it, guys. Coming up on 45 minutes. Currently 22 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm pretty impressed. And I'm going to just try 10. Uh, we'll see what the temperature rise is. Uh, you may not have to go that far. Just kind of interpolate and see what it does. There it is. It just went up uh, to 21 degrees, or just went down to 21. By the way, I also don't want to forget what I stated in the first video is that uh, Epicool's customer service sucks. Non-existent. I've even, after you've seen the first video, I sent some more correspondence to them, phone calls. Never, ever did they get back to me. So I'm hoping that during warranty, I never have a problem with this. Okay, guys, at approximately 57 minutes, we went down to 10 degrees, and I just heard the unit shut off. So we're now at 10 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're going to work fast here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the pop in here and water and uh, open up the lid. I'm going to work real fast, put it in, and we're going to see where this 10 degrees goes to then because it's going to rise because of the uh, warmth of the product we're putting in. So, let me get this put up closer. Ready to go, but I want to get it as close as I can to minimize the open time. You've got the, uh, we're going to open it at 58. And it is humid today. I cannot begin to tell you how humid it is how humid it is out. Terrible. So let's get this put in. Let's go like that, like that, like this, like that. And we did that within about what 23, 22 seconds. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see this start to rise. Because obviously you've put warm product in it. So what we want to do is see how high that goes. I just heard it kick in. And um, my thought is bringing it below what you want. Oh, I've got I got to set it to 40. I forgot. <clears throat> There's 40. So we want it to maintain 40 degrees. We don't want it to freeze this. So what we want to do is see what happens here. Can it cool the pop and water? Again, nine of each. Same thing I did on the first test. Um, can it keep it cool and not rise above 40? So we're approaching while we're at 59.27. I used to have uh, a hay fever. <clears throat> Today I was sneezing and stuff. My nose running. Uh, I kind of got over it in 2016. Haven't had any more shots, but today's very, very humid and hot. Kind of affected me a little bit. It does, and I, you know, I just no need to take shots if, if um, you know, you don't really need it. So now you see we're up to 30 degrees already, and we're coming up on. One hour, right there, 31 degrees. So I'm going to shut this off, and I'm going to monitor this and see what it does. 
All right, so I just heard the unit kick on at about one hour, one minute, and 49 seconds. We have it set at 40. It went up to about 44, 45, and the unit kicked on. So now let's see if we can keep it from going too high. I just tried 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess this will go to minus 4. But uh, if we say that we keep it cold, uh, get it down as cold as it'll go in one hour, then put your stuff in. That would be reasonable to me. But uh, then the other thing is, is how hot is the pop in water? Because this, again, was in the garage. If something was sitting outside in the sun or where it was hotter, you're going to see more than what you're seeing here. Now we're up to 48 degrees. So, <clears throat> not sure how well this is going to work. This might just prove that if you don't put in uh, a cold product, now obviously if you're putting in meat, something that has to be cold, it would already been refrigerated. You would go from the refrigerator to this portable one. But uh, in this case, we're just trying to see what would happen with water, you know, and pop. Because, uh, so, we shall return. You see it now up to 50. Well, guys, if we come up to about one minute, thir one hour, 13 minutes, in what, about 22 seconds, if we want to be real, real close. We're talking about 15 minutes after we put the pop in. We're going to call this close enough. And we have seen to stabilize at 62 degrees. So, uh, we went up uh, from 10 degrees, 40, at least 42 degrees here. Once we open the lid and put in the... Uh, to ambient temperature pop and water so now it's going to be a struggle I can guarantee it to go from 62 down to our 40 I'll probably continue this a little bit longer than end the video because I know where this stands at this point this pretty much proves that whatever you put in this portable fridge you better make sure that it's cold because it will take forever to get this back down to 40 and you see it's set to 40 so all we got to do is go from 62 to 40 and I guarantee you that's going to be a long while we're not going to run this much longer we're probably going to go another 45 minutes we'll see what happens when it gets another 45 minutes after that um, pretty much the conclusion is evident well, guys, <clears throat> at about one, 50, 1 hour 58, we're coming up to about an hour, give or take, real close to when we uh, put our warm uh, ambient popping water in. You can see it's still set to 40. We are at uh, 55 degrees, so I know how this party ends. I'm going to end this right now. Um, Bottom line is, um, if you, the, whatever product you put in here isn't to the temperature you want to begin with, this portable fridge, this Alpacool C20, will take forever and ever. And if you have something that could spoil uh, because it's not getting cold enough, you're not maintaining its proper temperature, you will be in trouble. So basically... I guess this is the first one I've ever owned. I suppose this is just how it is. And I thought I would run the experiment again to see. But uh, that's how it is. Make sure everything's to the temperature you want. I would even get the fridge to the temperature. Put everything in there. And uh, go from there.